We're here at the National Forensic Academy. The next process that we're going to discuss is the use of the electrostatic dust lifter. Similar to the gelatin lifter, we have located a dust impression on this multi-surfaced and textured background here, and our goal is to remove that uh, dust impression from the surface. Prior to application of the electrostatic dust lifter, uh, we would photograph with and without a scale uh, in position and with and without oblique lighting. Once we know where our impression is located at, we apply the electrostatic dust lifter film, which is a mylar film with a black side to it, so that the black side is down over the impression. Next what we would do is, is to install the ground plate. The ground plate goes approximately an inch to two inches from the film. It's dependent upon whether or not uh, the surface conducts electricity or not. When you install this, the next thing that we're going to do is put the charge uh, box on top of the uh, film and the plate. If you notice on the bottom of the charge box, there are three contacts. This contact needs to make sure it's on the back of the film, and these two contacts need to make sure that they're on the ground plate. When you turn the unit on, if the unit arcs, that is, if you see electricity jumping from the ground plate to the film, turn the unit off again and move the ground plate further back. If, when we turn the unit on, as we slowly turn up the power, we do not see the film draw down to the surface, again, turn the power off and move the ground plate a little bit closer to the film. So now we're going to turn the unit on. Do not touch the ground plate or the film during this process. There's a possibility of electric shock. Um, people with certain medical conditions um, should not use this unit. Be sure to read the manufacturer's instructions before using this in regards to medical issues. So we'll turn up the unit. It'll come on. You'll see the edges of the film as we turn it up draw down to the surface. You can see now the edges are drawing down. As soon as it starts to draw down, you know that it's working properly. We don't have any arcing and it's drawn down so we know that the ground plate is a proper distance from the film. But what you begin to see is that there's some air bubbles in here. We want all of the film to come into contact with the substrate to get the maximum amount of information back from it. So we are going to use this to squeeze out the air to the edges of the film. It's important that you do this gently because moving the film at this juncture could cause it to smear with a loss of information. So we do not want to do that. So once you're sure that you have all the air bubbles out, you can turn the unit back down into an off position, remove the charge box and the ground plate. When we lift the film, again, before you package this film, it's imperative that you photograph it. Um, over time, this can lose um, its electrostatic charge and you can lose information just by storing it in a semi-humid environment. So once you get it up, make sure that you photograph this thoroughly, again with and without scale. Uh, the next stage is to package the item. It's much like the uh, gelatin lifter. It goes into the box and is taped down on all four corners. Any type of shallow box if you don't have an appropriately sized evidence box to put the film in, a lot of times, particularly on larger films, it's advantageous to use a clean uh, pizza box. They fit very well in those. When you store your electrostatic dust lifter uh, lift here, it's m very important that you store it in a low humidity environment. Uh, humidity is the primary factor that affects the longevity of the uh, impression.